Tulane University houses over 4,000 students in its 14 residence halls. Some dorms, like Warren House or Josephine Louise Hall, have specific historical value, and others, like Weatherhead and Greenbaum, are newer with updated facilities and technology. Despite the presence of these newer buildings, which are primarily advertised on Tulane's housing website, the persistence of many old dorms have led to some negative experiences for residents. We heard from several students currently living in Tulane's dorms about their experiences. I'd say it's a big mix of both positive and negative. It's been a ton of fun, you know, hanging out with the boys, having some other friends over, just, you know, always something to do, someone to hang with. I mean, it's Oof. just good to be, like, near all your friends, so you can just, if you're bored, you Sometimes. can just, like, walk over to someone else's room. Negative, you know, kind of stinks. <laughs> our door ripped off our shower. Uh, there are cockroaches pretty much everywhere, which kind of sucks, but, uh... <laughs> I was sleeping in my bed in Irby with my boyfriend, and a cockroach fell on his face in the middle of the night while we were sleeping. Um, we freaked out, couldn't find it anywhere. The other night I saw the largest cockroach I've ever seen in the room and I tried to kill it and it was just indestructible and then I really couldn't fall back asleep because I was scared it was going to get back in my bed. I had a little gnat infestation on the outside of my door in Irby, like on the crack, so every time I opened the door few gnats would fly in. <laughs> Sink water is not very good. I'm, I don't, I'm unwilling to drink it. It always smells a little bit like, uh, like moldy or something. Also, there's like a lot of mold in a lot of spots. There's black mold. There's black mold. So that's fun. A lot of, a lot of places in the dorm. The humid air ruined one of my dresses because there was mold on it. So I had to clean it and went to a different room. Mold in my, in my house or dorm every year that I've lived here. Yeah, so there was, there was a time period where we basically did not have hot water for like a week and the showers just sucked. I mean, it was freezing cold. So. Our shower light isn't working, so we're just showering in the dark right now. <laughs> the toilet was literally flushing for like six hours. Um, and like our doorknob has just kind of been loose. Many students express frustration at the service wave, the process of requesting repairs. So I live in Warren House, and it's been an interesting time because um, the day we moved in, both mine and my um, roommate's dressers were broken. Service waived that, but turns out I had to email housing for that. So I emailed housing, um, and then they said that they would fix it in the next week, but it took them three months to do that, and now our dresses are finally fixed. Our room has just been circulating humid air for some reason, and we service paid that maybe four times and they emailed us finally and we're like, well, it's fixed now. It still smells like mildew. I don't know what to do. The problem is too, like when you service wave something, like they usually come like a few days later and it's the wrong people for the jobs and they're like, all right, we'll send someone else up. And it just like never actually happens. It just kind of keeps like going yeah. to the next step. Some of the older dorms on campus have been around for nearly 100 years. Warren, JL, Phelps, and Irby are not equipped with elevators, making accessibility difficult or even impossible in some cases for disabled students. If I was on the fourth floor, I would, I'd be pissed I would I'd be annoyed boycott. It. <laughs> no, it's dangerous. Yeah. According to a Tulane Hullabaloo article by Sophia Mariani, written April 2018, 53% of Tulane students live off campus. Though they give up close proximity to friends and classes, the costs are lower, and in light of some of the negative experiences with quality of the dorms, living on campus is just not worth it for these students. Tulane is making some efforts towards improvement. Construction for the new Commons building began in spring 2018. This building will not only hold a new dining facility, but will also have space for Newcomb College Institute several event spaces, study spaces, conference rooms, and more. This building will replace the current dining hall, Bruff, which will then be replaced by a new dorm building. However, with all this time and money being put into new facilities, Tulane seems to be neglecting to make improvements on its older residential buildings.